Hello, everybody. I am back from Las Vegas officially. I've got a lot of catching up to do with uh, all the comments and videos that have come up since I've been gone. Uh, so it's going to take me a little while, but I want to first off say I appreciate every single one of you for continuing to watch my shenaniganry while I'm gone. And don't worry. Never fear. Thumbs up. I will be catching up. And now I wanted to do just a quick little, a quick little rip. Uh, on this channel, we've seen Magic the Gathering, we've seen Pokemon, we've seen Dragon Ball, and we've seen the NFL 5. But the one thing I haven't done yet is Yu-Gi-Oh! I got a couple of these little Yu-Gi-Oh! things. Uh, Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. I uh, got four of them, and here's the key, English edition. Thank God, but even though I, don't, I still don't think that's going to help me pronounce half of this stuff correctly. So we've got four of these little packs, two packs per, not sure how many cards per, five cards per, I can read it. So let's go through. Now this is something, it, it, this is kind of a common theme with, with these um, uh, trading card games, is I know not much about them. I mean, I know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is as an entity, but I don't know anything about the card game, so... Anybody in the comments that knows it, or if I'm uh, now officially a millionaire, uh, give me a shout, if you would, please. But either way, the one thing I can say is, love the artwork. Always have loved the artwork on these trading card games. And I somehow don't think that Yu-Gi-Oh! is going to be any different. So again, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan and I mispronounce anything, I would like to apologize, because I'm not too familiar with it. So we'll do two at a time. I like the first off, let's just take a look at these, at the backs of these. That is a fun little design, like a little swirly portal. All right, so let's get right into it and let's uh, go on a journey together of Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm. First two packs, oh, and they're upside down. Got uh, English edition and it just pops up with something in French. Sorcier de Fleur. I would assume, Sorcerer of the Flower. We've got Mari Mariamne, the true Draco, Draco Phoenix. That's a, I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. Beautiful card. Beautiful artwork. We've got Larillisk, Recital Starling. Okay, we've got, uh, looks like a foil or a hollow here of Lar... <clears throat> Lyralusk Ensemble Ensemble Blue Robin. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a pretty looking card. And it's a foil thing. Okay, this one has uh, some gold lettering, so I'm wondering if that's maybe they're rare. Uh, yes, I'd be willing to bet maybe that's a rare. So that would be the foil. But all these... Actually, no, because all these had them. Well, I don't know. I'll figure that out. But another... Whatever it is, Barrel Canary... And we got Noble Knight Joan, High Speed Droid Chanbara, Speed Droid Terror Top. Look at these. And again, this is something I would love to learn how to play this game, or at least watch people play it that know how to do it. Speed Droid Denden Den, Daiko Duke, Daiko Duke, and another of the kind of gold embossed ones of a totem bird. Look at that. That is, that is seriously. Really pretty artwork. And I, I I can almost hear people that know Yu-Gi-Oh! In in, out in the ether be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And the answer, short answer is, I don't really know. But, but the thing is, I guess the good thing about opening up and watching people open up uh, packs like this, let's go through this real quick and I'll continue my uh, thought. The Speed Lift, the Speed Droid Takatomberg, I got another of the recital starling, but this time without uh, being the foil. Okay, that here we go. This might even rival Pikachu for adorable. The Quill Bolt Hedgehog. Hedgehogs in general are adorable, and this is extra adorable. So he goes up in the adorable corner. We got another gold focus of the whatever assembled Nightingale. Unknown Synchron. Liberty at last. Oh, trap card. Okay, I know that in the 
terms of some of these games, I believe. The Quill Pen of Goldos, another Noble Knight Joan, and a Pennant of Revolution. That is a, that's just stunning artwork. Anyway, to continue my uh, rambling thought, did I lose a pack somewhere? Oh, no, I only had four. Never mind. Um, seeing these these uh, trading card games open by people, like I know card, uh, Cardboard Prospector does a lot of these, and that's how I learn a lot. It, it does make you, <clears throat> pardon me, it does make you kind of curious to learn a little bit more about them. So a lot of people are doing uh, Pokemon, a lot of people are doing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Dragon Ball, and it, it's just really fun because it's like, okay, I can get it. So we got us here, a Tornado Dragon, a uh, Turquoise Warbler, I'm sorry, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it anymore, another Sorcier de Fleur, Z1, that's me, baby, another Barrel Canary on the embossed, Speedroid Car Turbo, is that... Well, it's definitely like a big block engine sticking out of a light switch with a book on top of it. I don't know. Thoughts on that one. Another quill pen of Goldos. A Synchron Explorer. Cute little guy. Ooh, pretty hollow here. The Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. I like those hollows. And another gold one again, uh, the Assembled Nightingale. <coughs> so hopefully by the time I post this, I'll have uh, figured out what the difference between the, the gold ones and the foil ones are. But either or, Quillbolt Hedgehog, I'm sorry, is winning winning my universe right, right at the moment. Last two. We got another Speedroid Denden Daiku, Daiko Duke. Speedroid Car Turbo. Stardust Warrior. A lot of stuff going on. Focus on that one. Speedlift. We got the phantom features of the light Lyralisk. I guess Lyralisk. There we go. Uh, Lyralisk Recital Starling. Another Tornado Dragon. Lyralisk Turquoise Warbler. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty foil. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. As opposed to the Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. And the final one, the Chevalier du Fleur. Um, people that speak French, uh, if I'm incorrect, Chevalier is Knight? If I'm not mistaken, so Knight of the Flower? Um, not sure. Either way, a lot of the Lyralisk, so I'm wondering if that's one of the big things in Yu-Gi-Oh!, but a ton of just beautiful artwork. Tornado Dragon, you get a little close up. That is a beautiful card. Stardust Warrior. These are these are just gorgeous. I like them. And they're it makes you wonder, like, you know. Where who come up who came up with the idea of something like of something like this? I it's interesting. So well, let's wrap it up. We have I what I would assume because uh, I don't know are base cards because I've noticed all of them have this little uh little foily thing there, so that kind of throws off the magic thing. Uh, but on the gold, just the plain ones with the gold lettering, we've got some really nice ones. Um, all Lyralisk, assemble, two assembled nightingales, the phantom feathers, the barrel canary, the totem bird, but the foils, the foils are absolutely beautiful. The sync, the clear wing and the crystal clear wing synchro dragon and the ensemble blue robin, but foil shiny aside. I have to throw my vote for the Quillbolt Hedgehog as arguably one of the greatest things in creation. What is his effect? My hands are shaking. If this card is in your GY, don't know what that means, you can special summon this card, but banish it when you when it leaves the field. You must control a tuner to activate or resolve this to resolve this effect. Alright, so banishment is probably akin to the um, uh, exile in um, magic. I would assume other cards have that. But please, um, if anybody out in the comments has anything, any more to add to that, 
please do because I'm curious about these. These were fun. It's a great looking set. Uh, I really enjoy it. And uh, the Quillbolt Hedgehog says, stay tuned. He will come for thee. I don't know. It's adorable. And hedgehogs in general are adorable. So he wins. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, it's good to be back in New York. Got a little schmutz on the couch. And time to start catching up on the YouTube. Hope everybody's still doing well. And double thumbs for the Quill Bolt. We'll catch you guys next time. See ya.